Hi, I'm Vanita Spazzetti, and I'm the Associate Dean for Education at the University of Florida College of Dentistry. I've been a dentist for about 35 years now. I'm going to talk to you today about a concept called holistic admissions, and I'm hopeful that at the end of this presentation, you'll have a better understanding of what holistic admissions is, what dental school admissions committees are looking for, and maybe you'll be able to use some of this information in your own application to dental school. So why don't we start out by me telling you a little bit about myself. So as a dental applicant, I was a good college student, but not a great one. My science GPA was lower than my overall GPA, and both of them were less than 3.5. My DIT scores, they were OK. They weren't great, OK? Some of them were strong, some of them not so strong. And all together, they were OK. I've been out of college for two years teaching high school science in a rural high school. I went to college at a pretty large undergraduate school, and frankly, I wasn't sure after two years out of school that there was any faculty member that would be able to remember me well enough to write me a letter of recommendation. I was in a pretty small town, a long way from my undergraduate school, and there was no one there to advise me about how to apply to dental school. And back then, there was no internet. So there was really limited sources of information about the application process. As it turns out, probably it was a good thing that I didn't have a lot of advice from other people because some expert would probably have told me not to apply to dental school because my science GPA was less than a 3.5. And then I probably wouldn't have applied, and I probably wouldn't be a dentist today. So how in the world did I get admitted to dental school? Because even then, back before the dawn of time, back when the earth was still cooling, admissions committees were looking for more than just numbers, really. It's a concept called holistic admissions. And what it means is that all of the parts of the application are a factor in admitting students, not just a couple of numbers. Things like GPAs and test scores are important, but they're not the only part of the application dental experience, work experience, life experiences, research experiences, self-understanding, communication skills, maturity, psychomotor skills, and on and on are all factors included in making decisions. And I can tell you that many dental schools still practice holistic admissions today. So what is it that dental schools want? Well, here's the thing. Dental schools are different. They have different missions. They look at applicants differently. Although, if you go on the internet and you ask the experts online at the dental school applications websites, they will expertly advise you that grades and test scores are the only important parts of your application. So why is this myth about numbers so pervasive and repeated so often? Well, the reason is because numbers are easy to understand and really provide a simple way to explain things. It's easy to see that a GPA of 3.5 is more than a 3.2. A DAT score of 21 is bigger than a 17. So how do you compare things like passion for the profession, maturity, self-understanding, psychomotor skills between individuals? Not so easy without those numbers. So numbers make it easier to compare applicants, and that's why people tend to focus on them. So let's look at just one numbers myth, OK? So here's the myth. If you don't have a science GPA of 3.5 or above, don't even apply to dental school. Well, I took a look at the IDEA official guide to dental schools to see if this is based in fact or not. So just as a, an aside, what is the IDEA official guide to dental school? Well, this is a, uh, a document that's available in hard copy and also online version that's published by IDEA, which is the organization that brings you ADSAS. It contains statistical information about every single dental school in the U.S. and Canada, the applicant pools, details about the entering classes, costs, prerequisites, and more and more. And the unique thing about this guide, as compared to other um, publications you can purchase in the marketplace, is that the information in the IDEA Official Guide to Dental Schools comes straight from the admissions offices in the dental schools. So it's the most up-to-date, accurate information that an applicant can get. 
I found a recent guide and I took a look at the entering classes of 2014. 29 of the 66 U.S. dental schools listed that year had average science GPAs of less than 3.5. Okay, 29 of 66, that's about half of all dental schools. Now, an average science GPA means that there were people enrolled in dental school with science GPAs less than the mean. In other words, less than 3.5. Remember, there's a range across the mean, okay? So looking at the range, because those numbers are also available in the official guide, 43 of the 66 dental schools that were reporting had individuals with, with uh, GPAs below 3.0 in the range of scores making up the average science GPA for their entering class. Don't apply to dental school if your science GPA is less than 3.5? I don't think so, and it's not borne out by the evidence. You don't have to believe me. Don't believe me. Go look it up for yourself. Go get an IDEA official guide to dental school and do the comparison for yourself instead of listening to the experts on the internet. So what are dental schools looking for? Dental schools are looking for people with the educational foundation to be successful in dental school. That's the number stuff. The numbers are definitely part of that decision. They're just not the only part of the decision. Dental schools are looking for people who know who they are and where they're going. Things like maturity, life experiences, self-understanding, knowledge of themselves, knowledge of the dental profession, and an understanding of how their skills and talents fit with a career in dentistry. So let's talk about applying to dental school. Here's the thing. It's not a race, it's your life. It's okay to take some time and explore the world, explore yourself and your talents. Going to dental school at a time in your life when you have had some life experiences and you're ready to get serious about your education gives you a great advantage. So take some time, figure out who you are and what you want out of life. Then spend some time learning about the dental profession and the goodness of the fit between your talents and what the dental profession requires. Then, when you know what dentists do and what their work is, when you know yourself, what you enjoy, what you're good at, when you're at a point in your life when you're ready to learn a lot and work hard towards a goal, then apply to dental school, even if your science GPA is less than a 3.5. We need your talents and skills in dentistry. This is Vanita Spazzetti, DMD, signing off from the University of Florida.